All right, Mr. Whitaker, let's go. New York, here we go! You wouldn't stand there. I'll be perfectly fine, thank you. There are several ground rules that I intend to have enforced. No, no alcoholic beverages will be allowed, not it even in your rooms, room. which will be checked. <laughs> if any student is found with alcoholic <laughs> drinks, he will be sent back to Youngstown on the next available bus. The same rule holds for dope. <laughs> and let me make this very clear. I consider marijuana dope. <laughs> the smoking, eating, sniffing, in any way ingesting any sort of drug is strictly out. If any student is even caught with it, he will be sent back to Youngstown on the next available bus. And now... That ain't a real safe place to stand. A word or two regarding sex. A word or two? <laughs> she knows more than we thought. <laughs> I know there is a great temptation at your age to experiment, but it <laughs> won't be tolerated on this trip. There will be no cohabitation either with classmates or some lowlife you meet there in New York. Mr. Rona, Miss Banikowski, and myself will keep a careful vigil, and I want this clearly understood. Any students found indulging in such inappropriate activities will be sent back to Youngston on the next available bus. <laughs> the Tate Hotel is not to be transformed into a zoo. I will not stand for that. <laughs> I told you that was unsafe. Thanks a lot, Dad. Oh, drop my sketchbook. Well, uh, I, I guess I'll see you later. Thanks again. I will show you the meaning of burp. I will show you Godzilla. Okay, Vicky, here you go. Hey! hey watch it, Vic. These papers are important. I'm sorry, Mr. Ellett, sir. Gee, <laughs> <laughs> Fred, yeah. ask Denise if she'll bunk in my room tonight. Go bunk yourself. I think what uh, Miss Delaney is trying to say is that she wants to spend a night with someone a little bit more experienced, uh, like me. Ah. No big deal, Fred. Why should two terrific studs waste time with high school girls when New York is just teeming with real chicks just waiting to get plucked? <laughs> yeah, I can dig it. 
real women. <laughs> okay, you guys ready? Here goes Godzilla. Yeah. That's Godzilla. Hey, you better try again. Hey, come on, watch the beer. Hey, you watch it, Ellis. Come on, you jerk. What is going on back there? <laughs> it's okay, Mrs. Bridgerton. It's just moving. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, Wait, wait. <laughs> <laughs> well, Denise, you know, you're the last person I'd expect to be sitting there looking back. I figured you'd be in the driver's seat. You know, so you'd be the first one to glimpse New York City. I mean, the way you tried so hard to win that scholastic prize, so you could get the extra money for this trip. I really admired your determination. Yeah? seem to stop you from trying everything to beat me out of it. Yeah, well, I guess I'm just competitive. <laughs> so is Hitler. And what am I supposed to do? Apologize for working twice as hard as everybody else? Not twice as hard as me. Well, let me ask you something. Why did I win? Because you're Roger Ellis. Look, I didn't cheat to win. No, you didn't have to. It's so great about our town. It's all politics. It's all who you know and, and who you can stroke. Which specific teachers you can get your parents to take to dinner at the country club. I hate that town. I hate you. Hey, Vic. Hey, Vic, check out Pete. Oh. They want to the it looks like he's oh. gonna erupt, man. He's going. He's going. He's going. Oh. 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 Hey, Pete, you're not sick already, are you? <laughs> we ain't even to Pittsburgh yet. <laughs> ground rules I intend to have enforced. There will not be any drinking, smoking, sniffing, eating, sleeping, breathing, laughing, feeling, stroking, petting, groping, loving, touching, knifing, knitting, strangling, maiming, walking on the grass, which I consider dope. <laughs> and no smiling, crying, standing, sitting, jingling, jangling, dangling, living, dying, and of course, no... <laughs> no s No sex, none of that! Of course, shooting up is fine! <laughs> Anyone caught disobeying will be crated up and shipped right back to Youngstown on... The next available bus! Next available bus! Well done, Pete! <laughs> I heard they offered you a job at WGAZ. Mm -hmm. That's terrific. That's my favorite Youngstown station. Oh, but you're so funny, Bob. You ought to be on Broadway, not in Youngstown. Wow. Really? You were super in the senior play. My folks had seen the same show up in Akron, and they said that you were better. I remember. Hey, Judy, you were really good, too, in the play. Thanks, Peggy. Going to the Big Apple. Gonna get myself a bite. <laughs> I'm going to the Big Apple, gonna get there by tonight. Oh, wow, that's really good. Oh, when I get to New York City, everything will be all right. <laughs> all right. Oh, the Midnight Cowboys, Leonard Bernstein and the Mets. Yeah. I'm talking about Dow Jones Average and the television Mets. <laughs> Things that start in New York City. Two years later, Youngstown gets. <laughs> you may get your ass in Youngstown. Yeah, they saw it, but they didn't get it. I'm going to the big apple. I'm going to get myself a bite. Chomp, chomp, chomp. I'm going to the big apple. I'm going to get my tonight. Hey, hey. Oh, when I get to New York City, everything will be all right. Yeah. Yeah. And now, a stirring piece to prepare you for your visit to New York. <laughs> I am the Lady Liberty. I lift my lap beside the golden door. But that's my voice at democracy speech. And how appropriate. 
Give me your tired, you poor. As long as they're not too tired, too poor, and they mostly come from Europe. Hey. That's not what I wrote. No, that's what I wrote. Pretty good stuff, huh? I hate to brag about my own material, oh, but... Uh, oh, oh, I wonder whatever happened to all those wonderful old songs. You mean there's like 99 bottles of beer on the wall? I'm gonna polish that big apple, gonna shine it on And then I'm gonna start to feel it till the feeling's gone I'm gonna take on all Manhattan, uptown, down and across I'm gonna chop it up and make me some big apple sauce I'm gonna lift the hand up beside the golden door I'm gonna nibble that big apple right down to the car I'm gonna win in New York City, win in NYC I'm gonna let that big apple take a bite out of me, yeah Stroll up in Central Park and more great music just for you from WNYC here in New York. Look! Look at his posters all over. Look at this. Here we are. 
Enjoy your evening. All right. All right. <laughs> 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 All right. I want this bed over here. I want this one. <laughs> nailed shut. It's not nailed shut. It's just stuck a little. They keep them closed on account of the air conditioning. Yeah, and they're probably trying to give us Legionnaire's disease. Would you get over here and give me a hand? Get over there. Hey, wait a minute, you yahoos. You're never going to get it open that way. Do you have a better idea? Yeah, I do. Now, this is how it's done. All right, all together now. One, two, three. <laughs> Stupid ass! Hey, what's with him? Yeah, you know Roger, man. He's always wired. Weird. Oh, man. Hey, 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 take a look at this. What's up, buddy? See right there, huh? <laughs> oh, that's an ad for a play. Oh, now, let's clean the glass off these beds. We wouldn't want some sweet young thing cutting us of it. Hey, hey, those two beds will be smoking tonight. Thank <laughs> you. 
should have flashed. Do you think one flash could make a difference here? It should have flashed. Forget it, Peggy. If we're going to see everything there is to see in this town, we've got to do it fast. But Jimmy. Come on, fast. Stuff, man. All right, all right. Uh, I'm looking for some action. Yeah? Yeah. Uh-huh. Well, what kind of action? Well, uh, a really great chick, you know? <laughs> you bet I do. I got just a chick for you. Her name is Delilah. She make your brains fall out. Delilah? Yeah. Yeah, that's the one. <laughs> How much? Well, now, she don't come cheap, so to speak. How much? Uh, how much you got? Uh, uh, 50 bucks? All right. My man, you are in luck. <laughs> For 50 bucks, you got it. Hey, take me to her. Oh, no, I'll bring her here. Then she take you up to her place. It's all sad. <laughs> well, you see. Oh, she likes me to bring the cash up front. Up front? Hey, man, that's the way it's done. Hey, come on, you know that. Oh, yeah, sure. Right. OK, um, here you go. OK. All right, all right. Now, you just wait right over there, by there. the big app. Uh-huh. OK, and I'll be back. <laughs> all right. Man, I'm in a big apple. And I'm about to get a bite. Gonna get my piece of apple, and I'm gonna treat it right. Now that I'm in New York City, everything is out of sight. It's gonna be alright. It's gonna be alright. It's gonna be alright. I think that Mr. Rooney is expecting us. I'll check. Wait over there. Work it. That's the fan that he hid behind. Oh, wasn't he fantastic? Well, he was good. Hey, Judy. Hey, we can't go out there.
Judy. God! Just imagine it. Oh, Bobby, wouldn't it be something working here? Like when we did Anne Frank last year, or Our Town in the 10th grade. Only not in Youngstown. But on Broadway! Oh, do you think we ever would be good enough? Hey! Huh? There you are! Okay, go up and see him now. It wasn't bad, Pete, and uh, it wasn't good, but it wasn't bad. Yeah, I thought you'd say that. Who have they got to direct it? Well, they're talking to you now. You want to believe this? Bob Fawcett. Bob, Bob Fawcett. That's right. Ooh, would I like to work with that I guy? I know you would. Oh, hi, kids. Come on in. When have they got a start date for that, Pete? Uh, we'll talk about that at dinner, okay? Okay, fine. You like my hair? Uh-huh. Wish it was mine. <laughs> <laughs> Did you like the show? You were fantastic. Thank you. Hey, I'm May. Judy. Yeah. Bob. How are you? Good. <laughs> Who sent you? Your lawyer. Sam, what a man Sam, huh? He said you might have a little time to talk to us. See, we're into theater back Mickey, home. Mickey, come on, Mickey, it's getting late. Let's go. Oh, he's right, kids. I am in kind of a bind today. Could you come back tomorrow? Oh, sure. Where are you from? Youngstown, Ohio. Well, welcome to our huddled masses. Yeah, uh, we were told New York would welcome us if we were tired and poor. As long as we're not too tired, too poor, and mostly come from Europe. Oh, did you get the line? Yes, I And did. I love the reading. Beautiful. I believe the correct quote is, as long as you're not tired, retired, or too poor, and you come from Western Europe. Yeah. Whose quote is that? John Kennedy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm sorry. I have to, I do have to run along, but if you can come hey, back. Hey, let's go with you. Agents, please, sir, they're always going to. They're, they're, they're exactly. villainous. Hey, listen. Come on. I know you. If you're going to call, you have to call him in the morning. the big apple waiting for my time to come in a few more minutes everything is going to come I bought my piece of apple and I'm about to have me some gonna have me some I'm gonna have me some yeah Oh, See you later. Come on, get in. With a heart. 
party, hi ho, hi ho, it's off to tour, they go. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, listen, now, uh, I got something else to do. What? Aren't you coming? No, you, uh, you go ahead. You sure? Yes, I'm sure. Go ahead. <laughs> yeah! Yeah! yeah. yeah. <laughs> hey, hey, look out for the car. know where the hell my horse is. Guitarist. What? Painting by Picasso, do you know it? I'm not sure. He did so many. <laughs> yes, he did. Just the head. The way you've drawn the head is very like the way he drew the head of the old guitarist. Really? Yes, it's quite expressionistic, too. You've really captured it. You win the pickle. No, thank you. I... Come on, go ahead. I'll trade you. My pickle, for a peek inside that sketchbook. It's all right, I'm just a patron of the arts. My name is Andy Shepard. My wife and I run a little gallery uptown. I come down here once a week to find new starving artists I can exploit. Look, uh, here's my card, and uh, here's my pickle. You're very talented. John Fullerton, thanks. Is it a really like Picasso? Yes, in fact, they're all like uh, early work of his, Blue Period. They're very somber, brooding, lonely, very haunting. Are you exhibiting with anyone? <laughs> no. Huh. I'm just visiting. Oh, yeah? Where from? Ohio. Oh. Huh. Yeah, I came from Philly, but I unfortunately came without your kind of talent. By the way, have you visited the Guggenheim yet? Uh, no. Well, you really ought to look at the Picassos up there. You might find out more about yourself. Where, where is the uh, Guggenheim? Uptown, up at 89th and 5th. OK. Thanks. Say, listen, I'm uh, headed up that way, John. You want to share a cab? No. Yeah, yeah. Gonna shine it on and then 
And I'm gonna start the peeling till the peeling's gone I'm gonna take on old Manhattan uptown down and across I'm gonna chop it up and make me some big apples But what this really means is they can steal my songs I'm gonna lift up my own lap beside the golden door I'm gonna nibble that big apple right down to the core I'm gonna win in New York City, win in NYC Not gonna let that big apple take a bite out of me Denise, how are you? Oh, oh, you look just, you look gorgeous. Oh, thank you. So do you. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm surprised to see you. I didn't realize it was this week you were coming. Oh, you have company? No, just about, though. Oh, th then I'll, I'll just, uh... <laughs> you just come on in a minute. is really beautiful. It's comfy. Comfy? Oh, this is wonderful. Beats Youngstown? Yeah, you could say <laughs> that. <laughs> hey, I'm surprised uh, your father let you come. Yeah, I paid my own way. I figures. Is he still beating up your mother? Yeah, or me. Denise, you can put all that behind you after graduation. Yeah. Yeah, but you, you know, I'm not really sure I want to wait that long. See, I've been, I've been thinking that... Oh, oh, okay, you really are expecting company. I don't want to... Yeah. It's a business thing or I'd ask you to stay. But look, I, um, I definitely want to talk to you, help you get connected really want to come and live in the city. Oh, I really, really do. All right. Let's do lunch then. Okay. Where are you staying? I'm staying at the Tate. Oh. Oh, oh I know. It's nothing like this place. Chin up, kid. All this can be yours. I'll call you tomorrow. Okay. Okay. Um, Marlene? Yeah. Um, <laughs> Bye. Bye. Hello, Marty. Please come in.
That's too clunky. Try the Heineken. Excuse me. Hang on, man. We're after something really special here. Nah, that's too tinny. Try the Lohenprow. That's it. That's the one. Oh, that's right. music to my ears. Yeah. That's great, huh? Is Mr. Ronichin. I have an appointment. May I have your name, please? Mr. Ellis. Mr. Ellis to see Mr. Aldridge. Won't you sit down, Mr. Ellis? Thank you. Someone will be with you in a moment, sir. Meanwhile, may I offer you some coffee? Oh, uh, <clears throat> yes. Coffee with cream. Thank you. Mr. Ellis, I'm Stanley Simpson, Mr. Aldrich's administrative assistant. Hello. Uh, I'm, I'm Roger Ellis. You're Mr. Ellis? Yes. Roger Alton Ellis of Ellis Electronics? That's right. Is there something wrong? No, it's just that you're considerably younger than we were led to expect from your letters. I don't recall mentioning my age. I merely asked for an appointment to discuss our firm's alternative to the Elberson circuits. Oh, yes. Well, our uh, engineers have reviewed the preliminary data you sent in. Did you bring the schematic and your proposal? Of course. Uh, can Mr. Aldrich see me now? Oh, I'm sorry. Mr. Aldrich is still in Europe. But if you leave your materials, I'll handle it. The Wall Street Journal said he was returning today. And we had an appointment. Well, be that as it may, Mr. Aldridge is not in at the moment. If you leave your materials... I'd I'll... rather talk to Mr. Aldridge personally, to make an oral presentation of our firm's proposal. Perhaps you can make another uh, appointment for me tomorrow. Mr. Aldridge will be very busy when he does get in, if you'll leave your proposal... I would prefer to make another appointment for tomorrow. Young man. Mr. Aldrich is a very busy executive. Listen. However, if you insist, as you obviously do, perhaps he can see you sometime next week. I'm only in New York for a few days. Oh, well, then, when you return to Ohio, write or telephone his secretary. Good day. Good for you. You didn't let him bulldoze you. I hear your name correctly, Ellis? Yes, Roger Ellis. Pleasure to meet you, Roger. I'm Malcolm Ferris. Oh, of course, of Overdyne Corp. <laughs> you were right, you know. I talked to Nate Aldridge in Frankfurt last night. He mentioned he was flying in on Pan Am today. Well, thank you very much. I'll try and catch him later. I'm sure you will. Something wrong? No, no, I'm, I'm fine, thank you. A pleasure to meet you, sir. You too, Roger. Thank you.
you still here? Hi. <laughs> Hi. Yeah. God, it's great. It's just amazing how much work Picasso did. And it's also different. I mean, not just different paintings, but whole different styles. Side by side, often simultaneously. God, it's just amazing. How'd he keep from going crazy? I don't... I'm sorry. I... Sorry, why? What's wrong with letting people know the way you feel? Some people aren't uh, always receptive. Do you come here often? Sometimes, yes. A lot. But right now, I've got a client who just lent me one of her Picassos so I can join my exhibit. No kidding. Would you, uh, would you like to see it? Yes. Well, come on. Okay. <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah, yeah. Wiedersehen. Auf Wiedersehen. Yes. Yes. On Pan Am's... On, on Pan Am's morning flight from Frankfurt, uh, do you have a Mr. Nathaniel Aldrich listed? I'm sorry, but we're not allowed to give out that information. Oh. Oh, wait. But I can tell you that our flight arrived at JFK on time. About 2.30. Thank you. I Electronics in Youngstown, Ohio. Uh, we had an appointment today. Yeah, right. Ellis, yeah. Uh, yes. I believe our people read your material on an alternative to the Elberson circuit. That's interesting. I didn't realize he was so young. Oh, well, uh, so were you when you started ITA. Uh, 19, if I remember correctly. 18 and a half. I lied about my age. Hey, you do your homework, don't you? I've been interested in your career, pioneering computers. Because you're one of the very few CEOs who know what their engineers are talking about when they get specific. Like me. Well, that's really very interesting. All right, Ellis. I like you. Let's get together tomorrow morning. Should we say 10 o'clock? Yeah, yes, sir. 10 o'clock is fine. Good. See you then. Thank you. Good morning, Mr. Aldrich. Good morning. <clears throat> Good day. Man, I'm in the Big Apple. I'm about to take a slice. Gonna get my piece of apple, and I'm glad to pay the price. Now that I'm in New York City, everything will be real nice. It's gonna be real nice. Stay right here. You're Vic? 
That's right. Well, aren't you gonna ask me in, big boy? Oh, you're the... Oh, geez. Uh, sure, sure. Come on. Bernardo didn't mention this. Uh, but he didn't know. Well, this will cost you extra. No, no, it's... It's a mistake. Looks more like a horse. Just wait right here. I'll be right back. Just plan to add 200 bucks for horseback. You know, you're better looking than some guys I've worked for. That'll be another 100 bucks. Ah! 200. Ah, not again! Guys, this is getting kinky. I've got the DT. Oh, no, you haven't. Now help us get him out of here. To where? Man, I don't care. Just out. Come here, come here, come here. Hotel rooms don't have horses. That's right, so get him out of here. Oh, no, it's Barracuda Face. Oh. Open up, spot room check. <sighs> Open up, spot room check. Come on, boys. I saw you go in there. Open up before I use my pass key. Oh, hi, Mrs. Richardson. Excuse me, Victor. Well, this room is quite a mess. And so are you, young man. Oh, uh, well, it was my first time shaving, ma'am. <laughs> I beg your pardon. Oh, uh, that was Pete, ma'am. He's feeling sort of sick today. That's right. I'm feeling sort of sick. Mm-hmm. Where is Randolph? Uh, uh, he, uh, he's in the shower. Randolph, put a towel around you. I intend to check that room. Hello. Hello. How are you doing, Mrs. Richardson? Just fine. Thank you, Randolph. <laughs> I think you should all take showers. It smells just a little gamey in here. Yes, I know you're not feeling very well, but that is really a disgusting noise. Sorry. <laughs> Hey, would you keep it quiet, guys? I'm never gonna drink again. That's not true. I probably will. Give me a drink. <laughs> Hey, look, uh, I'm sorry. They're leaving now, and we could, like, uh... It's quite disquieting. Yes. Tell me what you see. A profile of the artist. With a laughing woman. Demon. Woman. Inside. Him. The tranquil. And the violent. The sacred and the profane. Yeah. Both at once. Struggling. And fighting with each other. Yes, Picasso always wore his nightmares on his canvases. He did with paint what Freud was doing with psychoanalysis. I often wonder what Freud would have found inside Picasso. Pablo had a very dominating father, you know, very strong and stiff and disciplined. Rigid and demanding that his Pablo follow suit. Pablo did. Gotta go. I don't know where to go. The 
and stay. Who are you? I'm a friend. The other part about it is that I'd, I'd like it very much, and I, I don't know how I could work it in. But they can finish your part in the picture in six weeks. Yeah, but what about the rehearsal? Okay, so it's seven weeks. Oh, Judy, Judy, I'm... So... Look, uh, could you make it tomorrow? Sure. Good. Please, Mick, we've got to go. It's okay. Go. Let's go, would you Agents, please? Agents, they're always... They're, they're, they're villains. Hey, listen, come on. I, if you're going to call... And so, gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, Ellis Electronics has not only engineered a viable alternative to the Elberson circuits, but we're confident that we can produce them for you far more cheaply than your West German supplier. Also, since ITA's bid to take over Koenig's diode has apparently fallen through, I'm sure that my father would be open to ITA purchasing our firm, if a mutually acceptable uh, exchange could be worked out, of course. And if the current top Ellis management remains intact. Roger, why didn't your father come to make this presentation? Well, to be perfectly honest, sir, this sort of thing is not his fourth. He's a terrific engineer, but I'm the businessman. Mm -hmm. Well, it's a very interesting proposal. Most impressive. Thank you, sir. However, under the circumstances... What Mr. Aldridge means is that while your proposal seems to have some merit, our uh, engineering department under Mr. Farley here and our research and development people under Mr. Toomey, we would have to put the Ellis circuit through intensive uh, 
extensive, time-consuming tests before oh, we shut can... shut up, Stanley. He knows that. <clears throat> what Mr. Simpson means, Roger, is we have a problem. You see, some of our people, strongly believing the patents on the Elverson circuit couldn't be broken, and our R&D folks strongly advised me to go to Frankfurt to try and buy Koenig's diode, or failing that. And failing that, you've entered into a long-term agreement with Koenig's to buy your circuits from them. I'm afraid that's right, sir. So? So, even though you and your dad have come up with exactly the kind of circuitry we've been looking for, and even though you put on one terrific presentation, I'm afraid we have to pass. I'm sorry. Well, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for your time. Thank you, Mr. Aldrich. A very strange and abrupt young man. Yes, and very ambitious. Reminds me of me at his age. <laughs> I wonder why he laughed like that. Well, if I read Roger Ellis correctly, he's already figuring somewhere else to sell his circuit. <gasps> young man and clean it up. Mrs. Clean it up. But I didn't do it. Start this. cleaning while I get a trash can. Mrs. Richardson, I didn't do it. Start working. I told you this place was not to be transformed into a zoo. Its image is reflected in the mirrors of the mind And the eye that's growing older Seeks to find identity In reflections of reflections Which of them is really me? Which of them is really me? Which of them is really me? Old fish head comes. Randy, look, look, I promise I won't scorch anymore. I promise. Look, I'm dumping all ammunition. Okay? Hey, Roger, can I come into your room, man? I don't care. Hey, what's wrong? Are you sick or something? Yeah, a little bit. Ow! Oh my god! Hey, he's hurt! He's hurt! We better call a doctor. What's the matter, Roger? I, I don't I'll know what's his right. arm. Just give me my room, please. All right, all right. All right. Just come be on. careful. Don't touch his arm, all right? All right, here we go. Here we go. Easy, easy oh, now. We better call a doctor. Yeah, I'll be okay. Let's get you to the bathroom. All right, come on, this way. Come on. Take it easy. Come on, sir. Come on. Sit down, all right? Relax. You feel better? My jacket. My jacket. Take right. it off. Easy. Okay. Well, where does it hurt, Roger? My arm. Oh, my God. Roger, what happened to you? I bruised myself. With what, a sledgehammer? There's a hypodermic in my case. It's supposed to stop the internal bleeding. This is for hemophilia. Yeah. Give me a hand. You like the view? Yeah, it's fantastic. They think so, too. <laughs> I don't blame him, kid. You look terrific. Thanks. Much better than the other day. You know, that dress you had. Oh, it had to go, I know. I changed my makeup, too. You know, I think it's time I changed my image. Yeah. You look real classy now. Looking classy is very important if you want to make it in this city. Well, you sure have made it. It's not hard. It's not going to be hard for you, not with your looks. So, where are you working now? I'm in PR, public relations. You know, I meet a lot of people, have a lot of fun. It's the kind of job you'd really like, I think. Oh, you mean you're not a legal secretary? 
No, I couldn't keep up an apartment like that on secretary's salary. Oh, well, I always thought you wanted to work for a lawyer. Let me tell you what I realized real quick. They weren't half as interested in looking down my resume as they were looking down my dress. And something else. You know, there are a lot of brainy women out there. The competition is tough. But if you've got the looks that we have got, you'll always be in demand. You'll see. So, um, what exactly do you do? Well, I'm sort of like a hostess. When some company has some big wig in from out of town, I take them all around the city, you know, to dinner or the theater, whatever makes them happy. Because if he's happy, then he gives the company more business. And if the company's happy, they give me more business, and then everybody's happy. Come on now, you gotta try one of these roles. They're wonderful. Marlene, can I ask you a question? Shoot. When these visitors come to town, um, how far do you have to go to make them happy? Just as far as necessary. You sleep with them? Yeah. Sometimes. Put some butter on it. It's divine. Turn it loose until I had all I can think of that big apple juice. I'm gonna work up from the bottom to the very top until they realize this apple's from a brand new crop. Yes, we listen to it, but you have to understand that we have quite a few submissions just like yours, and it might take us quite a while to get back to you. That's fine. That's great. That's really great. Okay, just put it over there with those. Later, huh? You're just like that that royal family in Germany. Yeah, right. Russia. Oh yeah, whatever. Fellas, I, I'd really appreciate it if you didn't tell anyone. Why not? I mean, what's so bad about it? I just don't want people feeling sorry for me. I don't want to get any special treatment. Do the teachers know? Wow. We always thought you got special treatment because your dad was so rich. Hey, Dick, let me tell you something. If I get any special treatment, it's because I work for it, okay? And you want to know what else? My father isn't rich. He spends nearly everything he makes in trying to help me lead a normal life. His company's nearly broke. So I'm trying to get myself launched in New York and help him out. Hey, well, you know, you better not work too hard. I mean, with your condition and all. There's nothing I can't do, you understand? Sure. I just may not have a lot of time to do it in. So I can't fool around and waste my time. That's all. I think it's great, the way you want to help your dad out. Yeah, but? But I don't think you're only doing it for him. Well, of course, I want to make it for myself, too. And I'm going to make it. Big, and in New York, where it counts. And Youngstown doesn't count?
It's our last night, man. We gotta score tonight. We will. I've got it all figured out. Oh, yeah? We want to share it with me? That's exactly what I'm going to do. Denise. <sighs> A few of us are having a party then. Would you like to come in? Sure. Hey, uh, new dress, huh? That's right. Real snazzy. <laughs> but I bet it's still the same good old Denise underneath. Uh, <laughs> is there anything we can do to make you feel more comfortable? Yeah. Open up the door. No. Now, wait a minute. Uh, we just want to share a little uh, camaraderie. Oh. Our, our last night, and we'd like you to be part of it. <laughs> <laughs> well, what uh, happened to those New York women? Well, we had enough of that, <laughs> but we saved a little just for you. <laughs> We've heard some really terrific stories uh, all about you. But you ain't seen nothing yet. I don't think I want to. <laughs> All right. You got it. Under one condition. Name it. While I'm on the bed with one of you, the other one has to watch. You got it. Oh, uh, wait a Great. minute. What? Um, let's forget it. What? I don't want to do it. What? What's wrong? Oh, you mean you can't? I just don't want to do it. Oh, man, I don't believe this. Uh, listen, uh, we really want to do it, uh, separate. Sorry. Hey, now listen, hey, damn it! Wait a minute, um, let's, let's try the other. Uh, Denise, uh, we've got a little money and, uh, you're welcome to it as a sort of gift, you know? <laughs> hey, where do you think you're going? Oh, oh, oh no, you wait! Our money's good enough for anyone like you. And besides, you know you're gonna love it once the good times start. We'll put this in your good times. Hey, look, thanks again for asking me, huh? Oh, you looked as though you needed something. Looks like you still do. Yeah. Man, you know, I can't believe nobody would even listen to my tapes. Now listen, you just gotta sell one. I mean, your stuff's really good, especially One More Time. That one's great. Yeah, unfortunately, only you and I have ever heard it. Oh, we gotta keep on plugging. I guess you're right. <laughs> but Jane, Jane is going. Yes, he will. Oh, uh, uh, is Max gonna let me off? Max will extend your contract at the end. What about the picture with Oh, me? we can push it. Look, I spoke to Hollywood this morning. They said, no sweat. Bob wants a little rest anyway. It's OK. Come on, Come on Nick. Let's get it going. Man. We got things to do. Hey, listen. Oh, will you oh, call him, Scotty, for me in the morning? Sure. Tell Jane to take care of this. Right. Three. You got to keep on plugging, remember? You know, I, I, I have to apologize to you. I've been, you know, dancing around and jiggling around for so long. I've completely forgotten about what it was like, before, you know, to get started. <laughs> Tell me about yourself. Uh, <laughs> oh, there's not that much to tell. Um, no, it's all right. Go on. Tell me. I had all the leads in the plays and musicals at school. Me too. I sent off applications to Carnegie Mellon and Northwestern. Great schools. Good schools. I don't know. I, I guess I... I just... I wonder if I've got what it takes. I know the feeling. Every show. Well, it sounds to me like you're... Uh, 
you're right on the right track, you know. Yeah. Oh, damn. I, uh, it's, it's really so tough to give somebody advice. It's just, it doesn't sound like it's hollow or coming off the cuff. If only I'd had an opportunity of watching you work, you know, with a scene that you might have prepared. Did you prepare a scene that I could see? No. You sing? What about a song? A song? A song. Yeah, a song. A song. Gotta get him, gotta get him. 
get him. Oh, get him. I really need to sleep with you. Now, I've heard the other guys say that you would... Oh, I don't believe it. Oh, well, you're just like all the rest of them. No! Please! Forget it! Please! I need to. Really? Well, how much is it worth to you? What? You heard me. How much will you pay? flat upstairs, very comfortable and warm. Yeah. Well, we had some wine and just floated there for a while. And then I got real scared and uh, he put his arm around me. And I hugged him. I was so afraid. What? Of letting go. I, I felt if I let go of him, I'd be letting go of me. Oh, are you okay? God, we stayed like that for hours. That's all? Yeah. Then why'd you come to me? I need somebody, female, just to see if I... Anyway, I th thought, I mean, I heard. You heard? God, everybody's heard. You got a bus line in the sixth grade and um, right away you're up for grabs. And then you make, God help you, one mistake, two, presto instant reputation. After a while, um, you start believing it yourself and living it. And then when you want to 
change. Damn, people just don't want to see the changes. I'm sorry. Really. Look, I'll go. I... Denise, I'm getting really scared again. Oh, hey, look, there's no need to. You're okay. Oh, no, you're okay. Okay. Yes? Oh, put him on. Mr. Ellis, of course I remember you. I don't suppose Nate Aldridge told you. My firm has come up with an alternative to the Elberson circuit. And I was wondering if I could uh, get together with you and your people up at Overdyne to discuss it. How about this afternoon? Uh, well, I, I, I can't make it today, but, uh, well, I, I could be here next week. Well, how about Wednesday, then? Uh, that's fine with me. All right. Look forward to seeing you then. Yes, sir. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Uh, Let me ask you a question. You've had some experience in this. Don't you think Roger's wrong? Don't you think it's better, or at least it's just as good, to be a big fish in a little pond, like Youngstown, <laughs> than a little fish in a big, <laughs> big, I wish I knew. I think I know the feeling. Uh, Denise, I think you should know. This was my first time. Well, this was really a first for me, too. I mean, first time I ever really cared. Keep it. I, uh, don't think I'll be doing that. Everybody on the bus! There will never, ever be another senior trip again. Oh. Did you and Peggy aren't here yet? Well, they still have three minutes. Here they go. <laughs> you got we, 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 We'll be. Hey, Dad, we packed your stuff. It's on the bus. Oh, thanks. Well, get on the bus. Oh, get on the bus. Get, get on. What? Would, We'd would like you? a picture of both of us here in New York in front of the hotel. Ooh, all right. All right, just look through there and then push that. I hope the flasher works this time. Oh. Ah. Ready? Ah. The eye of the beholder shapes the visions that it sees. Someone's eye will see the forest. Someone else will see the tree. different just depending who you are someone's eye will see the darkness someone else will see the storm what i see is the summer sunshine while another sees the heat what i see is the city's canyon When I see the field of flowers While another sees the wind When I see the crying baby When I see humanity The eye of the beholder Looking inwardly will find That it 
its image is reflected in the mirrors of the mind. When the eyes is growing older, seeks to find identity in reflections of reflections. Which of them is really me? Which of them is really me?